I will upload a video twice so stay tuned on Tuesday on Friday Friday will be specially based for my subscriber and I want to do a video related which will be indicated as hashtag my subscriber choice <laughs> This is Charlie here and you're most welcome on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a PAX Spotlight Liquid Concealer. I've done a post on a community and you guys want that uh, product review. So here it is. Girl is near to 5k. And if you haven't yet subscribed on my channel, I think you should go and click that red icon and do subscribe as well as don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be always updated and yeah without gambling up a lot let's get started so in today's video uh, i'm gonna be talking about a pack concealer as you know as well as i will also review their pack 219 concealer brush and so if i talk about the outer packaging of this product it comes in very similar carton kind of a box. I've got the shade Melon and the name is mentioned at the outer packaging as well as the number is also mentioned. These products retail you for 765 rupees. It has a 14 different shades available in this range. We get a 3 years of lifeline and it has 5.5 gram of a product. And if we talk about the inner packaging, it comes in a frosty matte kind of a tube. Uh, and the shade name and the shade number wasn't available at the inner package which was a little bit disappointing for me because we never know when the outer packaging will vanish from your vanity so that was a little bit quite different if I talk about the applicator a doe foot applicator it has a very humongous doe foot applicator it's just similar as a makeup revolution and it's do not have any sort of fragrance too so let's move on to the claim what the products to claim about so it says that it's hydrating full coverage weightless easy to blend and does not crease it provides you illuminating brightening and lifted effect four in one conceal contour highlight and retouch waterproof and long wear formula so these are the things that the products do claim about if i talk about the texture of this um, concealer it is in a creamy texture which glides up very perfectly so this concealer has a matte finish and it's quickly dry out so I have got the shade melon and this shade is perfect to brighten up your highest point of your face uh, which will be perfectly work above the foundation so now I will show you the demo uh, where I have used the half section of my face while using a pack concealer brush and the half section of my face while using a beauty blender First of all, I will talk about a concealer brush. It was my first time that I was using a concealer brush while blending up my concealer because I haven't tried brushes to blend my concealer. And this brush is like, I will thumbs up and I will highly recommend you guys if you're looking for a, a, like a concealer brush or something, go for it. This is a pack 219 brush and this is one of their best concealer brushes. Well, the bristles are really very soft and it is dense from the above which help you to blend your concealer perfectly as well as it gets at the inner corner of your eyes and you know you do not feel like it's really the bristles are really very strong and it's poking up your eyes no it's not at all um, provide you that kind of a feeling i haven't feel any sort of bristles marks while blending up my concealer it do not leave any sort of marks which was a plus though it provide a very good very good finish next side of my face i will blend it with a pack beauty blender let me make it very clear that the blenders have a theory or whatever you can say that it do absorb a little bit of a product and the blender always provide you a very natural finish right ending up with the uh, beauty blender it do absorb a little and it provide you a good finish but it wasn't same as the brush one which was way more different from each other you both have their own different kind of a finish but if i will recommend you uh, that if you want a ni nice uh, coverage sort of finish go for the brush it will work but for the blender also it's it's okay i mean you can have both of them it just depends what you more prefer one thing that i really want to make it very clear is that try to apply less with this product because 
when I have got this product for the first time and the first time when I have applied this product, I was heavy handed with this product. I mean, I was like totally applying at the triangle shape right under my eyes and everywhere. And the second I just used the brush or the blender to blend it. And at that point, it was so heavy onto my face. I was like, whoa. He could zada ho gaya, right? So at that certain point of time, I absorbed that the less you apply this product, the better you get. Okay. So the the next attempt was like pop pop two or three dots just will work for this uh, product because don't go heavy hand with this product. Otherwise, it will look so heavy and so unnatural. You apply, blend it up. Apply, blend it up. So don't let this concealer stay. Uh, because it will face a lot of problem while blending it. I have done uh, Like you know, I have faced it. So that's the reason I'm just letting you people to know that concealer do not crease up It depends upon your skin situation under your eyes If you belong to a very dry under eyes, make sure you do hydrate a lot with your eye cream and then you apply this concealer then uh, you can go with a little bit of a uh, finishing powder to set it because you have a dry situation so might be you will crease a bit so i have a very normal under eye situation so i do not apply a lot of eye cream but i need it so i just applied a concealer and just blend it up and i set it with a little bit of a loose powder so that it do not crease a lot but today i haven't done any sort of setting under my eyes and i just left it exactly like that and i can see that uh, it do not crease at all if you have a lot of fine lines under your eyes make sure you apply less because i think this product work for less is more so that it do not crease and set into your fine lines yes, but i can also use the shade mocha warm tan frozen caramel to spot conceal my face so now i'm gonna show you the demo where i have swatched the three different concealer the first one is the pack one and you can see it has a little bit of a yellow undertone to it which will be really very good to brighten up my face the highest point of my face as you can say or you can also say that it will lift up my face perfectly so the second concealer is by makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade c10 as you can see the low applicator is just similar they have a used low foot applicator but the c10 shade was is more in a pink undertone i think i just i think i have choose the wrong shade but i just go through their website and i found that the they do not have more i mean you know a yellow undertone kind of a shade in their range or i have missed it out i don't know but i love the formula i love their finish but the shade wasn't good for me or you can say my skin tone so I, it was not satisfied at all the age divine concealer and that is my one of my favorite concealer i got a shade a new shade which is caramel so i have got my hands on it and i have got the shade caramel and you can see that the caramel shade is in a golden kind of an undertone and that will be perfect for my skin tone to just give it a little bit of a lift up as well as brightening effect a good kind of a longevity it stays perfectly for two to three hours without creasing if you are not in the, into a dry under eye situation but it will crease after two to three hours it do transfer yes it do transfer a little concealer is a waterproof concealer so now it's my turn to put my own thought and review about this concealer so let's begin so this concealer cost you 765 rupees of 5.5 gram of product concealer has 14 shades but i think there are the few of the shades in between shades are missing i mean especially for the darker shade area so i have got this shade which is melon it's good for brightening up your face if you belong to my skin tone this will be perfect for above the foundation and if you want to spot conceal and something you can go for a frozen caramel you can go for a warm tan to spot conceal your face uh, this is a very full coverage concealer make it very clear try to blend it with a brush 
or the sponge whatever you prefer but I love the pack brush this was the first try that I have got a concealer brush for myself and I literally love working with this brush because it's provide more sort of coverage do not apply a lot of concealer I mean this concealer it's such a heavy duty concealer try to apply it as like pook pook and voila you are ready okay so don't go heavy with this concealer at all these concealer are not present at Nayaka you will get it on Amazon I will leave the link down in the description box below and you can't get this concealer anyway I hope you have really loved and enjoyed make sure you don't forget to hit like subscribe and share and let me know in the comment box below what do you think about this concealer or if you have tried about try this concealer or let me know what are your shade and what are your experience using this concealer I will see you in my next video till then bye bye